In Halloween Kills, there is a focus or an eye of the storm. And I'm going to tell you what it is for Michael Myers. Let's go. Hey guys, as I continue this mini series talking about the different scenes in the Halloween trilogy that I think are very, very important, we go to another part of Halloween Kills and we talk about what I would like to call the eye of the storm, which means the focus of the storm. And for Michael Myers, in my opinion, it's one thing and one thing only. See anything you like? You're goddamn right. And that's the mask. The mask is what is a driving force, a focus for Michael Myers. And we see this not only in Halloween Kills, but we saw it in 2018 as well. We've also seen it in the other movies, notably in Halloween 78. At the end of the film, when he attacks Laurie, and she just by accident grabs at his mask and starts to pull it off. As soon as she pulls it off, he stops everything. And this is Michael as a young man. He was fixated on this mask as a young man. Of course, that's when Loomis had come up the steps and was able to shoot Michael, saving Laurie. And then, of course, he had to shoot him a bunch more times. Was it six? I shot him six times. I, I shot him in the heart. I Hannah got buried, but come on. I shot him six times. Who knows? Anyways, but before I get deeper into my thoughts on this, don't forget to hit the like button. If you are a fan of the Halloween movies or horror in general or any movies, this is the channel where you should be. So please hit the like button and make sure you subscribe for more content from us. As I was saying, this mask has been shown to be not only an advantage for Michael Myers, but also a weakness of sorts. In Halloween Kills, the scene in the park when Lindsay, very smartly by the way, hits Michael with a bag of bricks. I mean, that was just some real great ingenuity on Lindsay's part. He grabs her and he was going to kill her. We've seen that a thousand times before, but she did something that, like I said, Lori had done in the 78 Halloween, and she grabbed it for that mask, starts pulling it off, and Michael reacted like an animal. Get off! Throws her down. So, again, you can see how fixated Michael is with this mask. In our previous episodes in this miniseries, we talked about the opening of 2018 and how everybody was going batshit crazy when Aaron showed Michael the mask. Everyone was going crazy except for Michael. It's almost as if he has that connection to that mask. It, it draws out his inner strength, his inner evil. It, it makes him you know, ready to be on task and not dormant any longer. But we've seen this a couple times. And the scene that I wanna talk about specifically in Halloween Kills is near the end when Allison bravely tries to take on Michael Myers. Cameron does too, he doesn't do very well and unfortunately has one of the most brutal kills maybe in the whole franchise. Definitely the most brutal kill in the film, in, in my opinion. You guys let me know what you think about that. But Allison tries to save her boyfriend and can't do it. And Michael comes down the stairs ready to take her out. And out of the blue, Karen, Karen makes the save and starts to complete her character arc, which I think was a very good character arc. I was totally back on board with her. Well, I should say I was on board with her at this point because in 2018, she was just a character that seemed like she just was so out of touch with reality. But through the events of Halloween Kills, from the end of 2018 as well, but throughout Halloween Kills, I think she became such a more interesting character uh, that I could get on board with and just showing that she also had a lot of courage inside of her, just like her mother and obviously her daughter. But Karen attacks Michael with the pitchfork. He's hurt. He gets knocked down. She stomps him. And I'm thinking when I first saw this, I'm thinking, did they kill him? No, they didn't kill him. I, I, my mind was going all over the place, but she took the mask. It was almost like she knew 
about the mask and its connection with Michael or Michael and his connection with the mask. She took the mask and then of course Michael gets up quick. He's like, what did you just do? You don't take my mask. He gets up quick. I know a lot of people out there that say that Michael spoke in this scene kind of almost like a breathy type of speaking saying, you know, give it that. Um, I've watched that scene tons and tons of times it's the type of thing, in my opinion, just my humble opinion, you guys let me know what you think, but it's the type of thing where when you know that people are thinking he's talking, it's almost like you can hear that. But to me, I think it was not any any bit of him speaking, just just breathing and just, just you know what I mean, not any type of words. I believe there was a time when James Drew Courtney confirmed that, I could be wrong, you guys let me know in the comment section down below. But anyways, she has the mask and she's like, you want your mask, come and get it. You want your mask? Come and get it! You wanna fucking kill someone? Take me! It was such a great scene, man, for Karen, but it, it got even better. It got even better because as she's leaving, trying to basically bring Michael away from Allison, who's injured, totally injured, Michael is walking after Karen, walking through the shadows. James Hugh Courtney, again, just an amazing performance, but I wanna give some credit to the lighting. And David Gordon Green spoke a lot about how much time they put in to making sure that the lighting uh, for James was always well done, especially when he has the mask on. But this is different because he doesn't have the mask on. So they were showing him front and center, but there was shadow over his face. You couldn't see much of his face. Maybe you saw 15% of his face. And it was so cool because as he's walking, it didn't matter if there was like, you know, the street lights outside or the moon or whatever. It's like there was always this constant shadow on his face. And I know that that was something that they had to work really hard on. And I give them a lot of credit. Again, they were just showing how much detail they had for the little things. And again, I think it was so well done and, and definitely appreciated by me as a fan of this franchise and this icon. So Michael is coming after Karen and I'm thinking she better get away. She better run. But lo and behold, it's a setup. It was all a trap. It was set up to have the whole freaking town. It seemed like now it's probably just about 20 people, but it seemed like it was millions that lined up ready to come after Michael. Now he doesn't know this because all he sees is the mask on the ground. But again, this is what he's drawn to. Nothing else matters. There is this connection that he has to this mask. He needs his mask and he needs to be at his house looking out that damn window. And I think there might be even a connection between the mask and the house. And when he is staring and, and looking within instead of looking outwards, maybe when he has his mask on, maybe he sees different. Maybe that's why, and we talked about this in my last video where I talked about how, you know, he was in the firefighter scene. And when he was looking at the first responders and, and doing the head tilt, you know, is he connecting with them as they are dying or as they are dead? You know, again, there's a lot of different things going on, but with this mask situation, He's ready to pick up this mask. Everything's Christmas dinner for him. And all of a sudden the lights come on and man, he is surrounded. James was so great in this scene because he looks both ways. You've got Karen with the great stinger where she says, gotcha again, which was a nice callback to 2018. I think it's a cute little thing that they had for Karen. And he's being surrounded by tons of people, you know, and he looks, and he looks and you guys if you've been on my channel long enough if you've watched enough of my halloween content and there are tons of videos and live stream that i've done on halloween especially this movie and the trilogy you know i absolutely love this scene because he sees all of these people that are ready to go against him to stop him from his goal whatever that may be and we know there's multiple things kind of going on all that james jude courtney as Michael Myers does, is just look down and grab the mask. That's all, it, that's all that matters. He's got all these people on the right and left of him. Weapons in hand, guns, bats, irons, 
you name it <laughs> it's crazy rocks <laughs> sticks stones you know it's just crazy and he just picks up the mask it's almost like nothing else mattered in that moment he has to kneel down and pick up that mask and then he puts it on it's just crazy to me just that whole mentality of it all and as he's putting it on i kid you not it was little things because the look on karen's face you could see like fear building back up i think that she looked at this as a game plan to to bait michael and get him trapped and then the, the mob was going to take care of him but when he just so nonchalantly bent down to pick up the mask and put it on as if to say hey so what i mean the look on her face was like uh oh <laughs> did we trap him or did he trap us right and michael you know again james Drew courtney is perfect in in this scene i think he was just so amazing in his portrayal he just turns and looks around and then you know even with the crowd you can even tell with the crowd they have a little bit of unease and then they go at him and it's this big big fight scene now i know there's some people that aren't fans of this scene just like they were some people that were not fans of the firefighter scene but i think this scene spoke so much to what michael is what his mythology is about he literally put himself inside of a trap to get that mask michael isn't stupid michael is not a stupid you know character he's shown to have a lot of intelligence and and savvy and so forth but he put himself in that situation just to get the mask why why because the mask is the focus the centerpiece the eye within the storm the storm that is michael myers that's how i see this scene and the people are beating on him he got shot like four or five times he got stabbed by karen it's it's it literally i, I remember seeing it in the theater and we're thinking oh my god they, they are taking this son of a bitch out everything seemed perfect even when he was trying to grab for his knife you could tell that he was hurt you know this this monster this evil in the shell of a man because he was hurt in that moment and i think you know they start to kind of do the little uh you know the voiceover and kind of cut back to the scene with laurie and frank and talking about if only we knew then what we know now and how he, he's transcending because of the fear that people have i truly think that when he was beat down the mob maybe not everyone in the mob but i think there were people there that were thinking is it over is it done I know that's probably what I'd be thinking because you've seen this guy do so many things that seem impossible. It's just absolutely crazy. And of course, as we know, boom, he just comes right back up and takes people out. I mean, he's slicing them up. He's beating them up. He kills Tommy. He kills Brackett. He kills everyone. And it's a flurry of death, blood, body parts bodies being strung around i mean he takes them out in ways that it, it was just it was unbelievable but it's michael myers that storm he has that effect on people that's what he has and that mask that mask is his centerpiece that's it's almost kind of like his greatest weapon in a way you know i mean obviously he has the butcher knife and but he can use anything he uses his hands almost as much as he uses the butcher knife but that mask that's that's the glue that's what brings everything together and keeps him together and this was a scene where i definitely think it was illustrated so well because he put himself in a bad situation and again we know that he is very careful about things he stalks he watches he watches from the corners watches from the dark comes out silent and sneaky like a ninja takes people out in this scene he did not care because he had to get the mask that's what i think and i think it was a great scene in halloween kills and i know there are a lot of people that aren't fans of the movie and that's perfectly fine but for me this was just an amazing scene it really really was so anyways guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below i'm really having a blast 
with this mini series talking about these moments in the films and what I think they mean because with Michael I think there's a lot to his mythology it's very layered it has a lot of depth if you're open to it some people maybe not they just say hey, he's a guy Halloween mask he's got a knife he's killing people and that's it for me as a fan uh, you know for decades I, I see beyond that and I see a lot more and that's what makes it so enjoyable for me just me as a fan so let me know what you think in the comment section down below how important is the mask to Michael how do you look at it why is it important is it the centerpiece for him is it the eye of the storm let me know in the comment section down below don't forget hit the like button it helps to support the channel if you're a horror fan if you're a movie fan this is the channel for you subscribe to the night watch zone join us for these conversations join us for the live streams and the videos because we talk about all movies and specifically about horror and man we're having a blast so i will catch you guys later if you're watching this if you're listening to this you are the night watch peace mm -hmm.